Hello, welcome to the video. So this is Tap Wizard, and let's collect the AFK gain. 23 days since I laid this, and we're dead. Let's recall. So you are this wizard here. You are fighting all of these monsters. A few things here at the side. Oh, this is just a skin. So here is you can get some free stuff if you want to watch an ad, or you can get a little bit less and just brute forces open. So let's rank up this skill. So these are the skills. There are three types. So the fire spells, ice spells, and lightning spells. But you can see here this one is 3.1. This one is 1.5. If we click on it, we can see here what we have. So we gain 2% ice cast speed, 25% firebomb damage, firebomb cast speed. You see this is one is plasma grenade, not firebomb. So when you level up skills, they can boost others. Now you see this one is mark 3, rank 1. That means it has bigger bonuses, but you... Yeah, I think it gives you bigger bonus. But you also start with more. You see this one's rank 1 and already has three stuffs unlocked. Not 100% sure. Spells gain augmentation and passive when they rank up. Passives are applied even when the spells is not equipped. Yeah, so these always worked and this is only when it's equipped. Up here you have your, you know, kind of like power. So far we have gained a 2% increase if we reset right now. This is our money and this is um, not really sure what that's used for, but we will come to that later. You have three loadouts. Let's try this one. This is a lightning golem build. You can see this lightning golem here, so they shoot for you. And here you have a bunch of insta cast things. I can summon a bunch of fire golems, a bunch of frozen discs, chocnet, frost rays. Let's kill a boss. There we go. And you can turn them into sheep. You can heal up. You can gain more power drops. And I have a lot of this. I have several pages. So you don't really need to be that stingy as I am. I'm using the lowest tier ones while I'm saving up all the high tier. Are you asking why I'm saving them? Well, maybe I will need them one day. <laughs> so there are three different maps. You can uh, This is the wilds. I think you just climb the, as high as you can. This is a raid. It has an end and you gain a, a kind of reward at the end. This is a dungeon gate. It has special loadout slots one and five. So the first and the fifth spell does more damage, um, but the third doesn't cast but the rest is cast faster and more damage lightning spells. So this changes the gameplay. Some like it, some don't, but it's pretty, I don't know, it prevents you from using the exact same spells every time. So the level two monsters or the level two of the dungeon has boost for fire spells. So you don't want to use the exact same build every lore either. And we're dead. So we gained 103%. So we double our power. So here in the academy, you can research. So we gain more value. When we loot something, it's worth more. So let's learn that one. We can start another one. We gain enchanting discount. Let's start the casting speed. We gain more HP. So here is temporary bonuses. I was maxed out. I have 20,000, it cost 100 for 12 hours. This one lasts 15 minutes. Enemies attack the wizard in mel melee combat. Receive a random one second status effect. And yeah, let's do that. We research 50% faster, sure why not. Enemy shields are 75% less effective, sure why not. We have a 90% chance to hit dodging enemies, yes, give me that one. The temple floor 1, the temple floor 2 now. Healing enemies are less effective. This makes the enemy heal, heal less. Slot 1 does more damage. And we can deflect projectiles. More gold. Resist. Nullification resist. Then there's the third floor. I'm not sure if I have, if there are more to this, so it's just this one, because this one is pretty damn good. 1.25 casting speed, so that's 25%. 25% casting speed, damage, and HP region. Yeah, so we're now we're actually healing up. Uh, sadly, this guy is also healing. So let's just spam him with a bunch of uh, random stuff. Die already. Wait, what happened there? It Oh, he has three heads, All right. Let's use the strong skills. Torrent every five seconds for three minutes. So now we auto casting. You see we have lots of buff now, so we are actually super strong. Come on, just die. There we go, now last head. Really, how can he still be alive, you know? 
I've used so many resources on this. This is not how I recommend you play, but... Oh, we beat him. Hooray! We double our power again, but I'm not gonna reset just yet. This is where you pretty much reset to gain a bonus. Access will be granted when a Templar has simultaneously unlocked all eight skills. This is a small reset, and this is a big reset. And every time you reset, you gain the ability to buy one of these. This is actually a very old save, so I'm, I have forgotten a lot of things. Even though I last logged in like 29 days ago or something. I actually played this years ago. But thankfully the game has a cloud save. So this is where you get spells. You have these spell stones that you refine. We have four static leap spell stones. You can now equip the spells four times. This is the shop. Some you can buy with money, but some you buy with currency, in-game currency. So... Nihai Nick, a trusty helper. Nick will collect stable runes that you miss. Nick can hold up to five runes. Upgrading him will allow him to also collect one rune cash. Oh, we are dead. We almost triple our power. Random Rachel. Rachel cast a random spell from your loadout every five seconds. The spell Rachel cast gains one second of XP at 100% rate. So this is pretty much extra spell cost. Bought this one using in-game currency. Imitating Ivan. Ivan cast a spell in the fifth loadout at one half of the speed of the wizard. This, this spell also gained an extra 20% XP. So he's casting this elemental golem, lightning golem. So whenever I cast this twice, he cast it once. This is a pretty slow spell. I'm not sure if it's best to use him on slow spells or quick spells. Oh, we are about to die. Let's heal up. 25% HP. There we go. And we're dead. Then we have skins, and they seem to have a bit of stats on them. So this guy have 10% cost rate. I think this one has research, reclamation rate, brewing speed, offline gains, more offline gain. So let's go to a raid. You can do one every 24 hours, I think. The Spirit Force stat box. And we seem to be destroying them so far. Some enemies are much easier than others, even with high stats. There is one enemy that explodes when you kill him. And if you are near him when he dies, he damages you. So you can see here most of the enemies die close to me. The time it takes to kill them, you know, by that point I have already reached them. So when we kill them, they are close. If you do that on the exploding guy, you will die. And we beat the raid pretty easily. So we get the, the spell stone. This is how we get spell stones from the raids. Raid available in 29 minutes. Hmm. Right. The first raid of each day is a critical raid and reward a raw spell stone. You gain lots of power in raids. And let's do a dungeon. We're at level 1 right now. 50% cost speed for spells 2 and 5. We seem to be doing okay. Let me heal up. There we go, we passed the first level. 50% damage for fire spell. So this one is a bit weird. Yeah, you don't really have to worry about it. It just depends on... Uh, we get different reward and bonus if the cast time is long or short. Here you can see what enemy you will face. We will not be facing the exploding guy, so this should be doable. So you have done your loadouts, and that are different than the normal loadouts, and they change automatically when you reach the floor. So we use this one on Daniel loadout 1, this is floor 2, Daniel loadout, and we use this one in the third, and we're dead. But we doubled our power. Let's spam a bunch of plasma vortex. So the skills look really nice, especially when you really get a lot of them. Oh, these guys are actually pretty hard, they shoot at you. Let's plasma vortex them to death. These are kind of glass cannons. If you can uh, hit them, you should be able to, you know, win. This one kills a single enemy. Doesn't care about the HP of them. We can also turn them into sheep. We can kill a bunch of them. We lost all our buffs now. That means we have been recording for over 50 minutes. Actually been 25 minutes right now. But I think I will cut out a lot of it. We gain another 110%. Thinking of doing this enchanting. If we enchant now, we will gain 5 times spell damage, 
seven times research discount, two times research speed. Of course, we have to lead the dungeon for that. I'm gonna let it run for a bit, see if we can beat it. And it seems we can't beat it, so let's leave it. Well, I mean, we can beat it eventually, but let's go back to the wilds, abandon this. One of the strongest spells in the game is this one, the firewall. And it's my favorite, also my highest level spells by far. This inferno. Ignites a wall of flames in front of the wizard for 4 seconds and deals constant damage to enemies within melee range. Damage bypasses enemy armor. And that's my pretty much biggest damage dealer. That's also why the exploding guys are so dangerous. We're currently at uh, 336T. What's it called? Trillion? I kept thinking of terabytes. <laughs> we are 300 trillion and at 1Q we will gain 10 enchantment, which is 1000 trillion. But I think I will do this now. Yes, let's see what it looks like. And there we go. We to reclaim the 344 trillion, it will take us five hours in pure AFK. However, if you play active, it goes faster. You can see that we started at 101, now we're at 106. So we're slowly regaining our power. And you can also see how much we will gain. Let's actually restart now. Now you can see it's ticking up pretty damn quickly. We already cut it down by over an hour, just by doing one reset. So after getting 1000%, let's respec again, or not respec, recall. Now it's down to three hours. Now it's only two hours left. We're claiming 64,000 power per second. This is actually, a, this is a really good uh, prestige system. It's just fun to watch this number go up. And if you get stuck at a, you know, at an area, Eventually you will, uh, suddenly you will beat the guy. Like remember that Hydra boss, we got to use hundreds of these to kill. If we had been gaining 70,000 power per second, he would have died eventually. There is a sequel to this game. It's a bit different. Instead of running in a line like this, you run in an arena where the monsters are chasing after you constantly. Just released, well, maybe a month ago or something like that. And it's currently being developed. It's not feature complete as this one is, but I'm gonna post a video on it soon as well. So this one here, this is pretty interesting. 25% more damage, but we lose casting speed. However, it is generally worth doing. Allows you to drag and drop runes to target individual enemies. It's a pretty fun skill, so let's buy it. So now if we use this sheep here, we can turn this guy into sheep. And that guy over there. So if there is a super annoying enemy, you can just do it. Oh, I missed. Wait, did I use it on the same guy? Hmm, that was not ideal. Because if you only click here, it will be a random enemy. Now, one thing to notice with the sheep, if you keep spamming it like this, it will do nothing. Unlike, say, this skill. Um, but yeah, I think I will call it here. We are reclaiming the power pretty quickly now. One hour left until we are back at where we started. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.